Howdy folks, welcome to another Marketing Technology Minute. Today, JC and I are going to be talking about coding as a second language. Right, now, yeah, just like you might learn Spanish or French, exactly. now it's arguably so that you need to learn code. Right, so our biggest question with coding as a second language is um, what are the easy ways to learn code without having to go back to college and take courses, especially for people in the business industry. Nobody or, has time for that. Exactly. Nobody's <laughs> got time for that. So there's some easy ways, I think, that JC, you know of, because being the in-house web designer at Cinecore, she has found and has you know learned some more things than she did even back in school. Right, because one thing about code is it's constantly changing you, so you have to keep learning. So one of my favorite tools is Code Academy. Mm -hmm. It's just really short, quick, easy lessons, and you get badges for completing them, which is kind of fun. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> um, but there's also, of course, your Coursera, your YouTube. Audacity. Um, Treehouse is another one that you can pay for. There's one called Code Racer, which treats coding like it's a game, so it's fun for all ages. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, there's a lot of easy ways to learn code online for free. But um, why do you think that maybe it's important for people to take that additional education? Uh, I believe it's important because, like we said, the people that are out of school and don't plan on going back to school to mm -hmm. learn actual code is, um, let's say, people that do marketing, such as us at Cinecore, yep. and people that don't know code, like I didn't go to school to know code. Sure, I'm a web designer, so I might have that intuition, mm -hmm. but, or not a web designer, I'm a graphic, like, graphic designer. designer. <laughs> I'm the web designer. Jason's the web designer, <laughs> graphic designer. Um, I need that intuition to be able to develop, let's say, landing pages yep. um, to generate leads, or even um, maybe blog manipulation. Um, so, yeah, bloggers can use coding all the time. I mean, they almost have to. Right. And, you know, email templates. Is email something. templates, yeah. So there might be content management systems or marketing yep. automation software you use out there that has some sort of, you know, management system that you can easily build things. And there, there, a lot of software out there is getting a lot better at, you know, manipulation and building. But to know a little bit of code. Yeah, you don't have to know a lot. But even just... Just something to be as simple to... as like a paragraph tag or how to bold something. Those right, or center things. an image inside your blog, you yeah. know, without, if the center button doesn't work to center the actual image or it goes wrong, you can get in and back end, mm -hmm. into the back end of your code or the, your blog or whatever it might be, email template mm -hmm. or whatever, and easily change things. If you know just a little bit of code, it's, yeah. it's easy as ABC. Is kind and of. it saves you a lot of time. Exactly. Even without having to go to your web designer, your web team and right. say, hey, why isn't this working? Just figure it out you yourself. Do it yourself, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So as you've seen, there's a lot of free and easy ways to learn code beyond going back to school, like Jay-Z has described. Yep. Um, so get out there, learn code, and you can hopefully use it as your second language someday. Absolutely. All right, well, that's been another Marketing Technology Minute where you can follow us every Friday for all the latest trends in the marketing technology industry. Have a good one. Bye.